the essence of regenerative economics really is that um, there are living systems principles that explain how living systems work on this, in this world. And the scientists have discerned them and understand them and they, they are patterns and principles that repeat at all scales. And my simple hypothesis is that human beings are living systems and the human economy therefore is a living system. And if it's going to be sustainable, truly, meaning a system that can sustain itself over a long period of time, it needs to operate and be embedded in the living systems of the entire biosphere. So in order to figure out how to do that, um, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a problem we need to solve that is um, beyond the scope and scale of any human brain. So I think it's important to, to understand that and to understand that this complexity is sort of beyond our, um, our, me, our, our analytical means to really grasp. And the evidence of that is the constant uh, trouble we get ourselves into when we try to solve problems with our analytical brains and then they create, our solutions create bigger problems than the problems we were trying to solve. Um, so I take a very humble view that we should get clear on living systems principles. I'm encouraged that those principles and patterns are completely in alignment with the wisdom traditions of the only human cultures that are, have sustained themselves, namely the indigenous cultures. Uh, so once we're clear on those principles, then our task is to align our economic system uh, with those patterns and principles. And that's easy to say and much harder to do, but at least it gives us a kind of a north star um, on, on directionally where we need to head. And importantly, uh, the idea of being in alignment with the, the magic of living systems is that we will unlock potential that we don't currently see. So, um, uh, you know, our old model of thinking was exponential economic growth is the source of our prosperity. We've essentially run out of space to keep doing that. So it may have worked in the past, but it doesn't work in the future, and there's evidence of that everywhere. And so we need, we need to transition to a new source of prosperity, and why not transition to the ultimate source of prosperity, which is the magic of life on this planet.